Don't tell how they're champs now. Let's see how. Ooh. How this performs for content creators. The XPS 15 2 in 1. We have the Cabby Lake G, i7 Cabby Lake G with the combined Vega graphics, quad core Cabby Lake G, 16 gigs RAM, and it has this awesome 4K display, 100% Adobe RGB, really great for content creators. So if you want insanely cheap Windows keys or upgrade from Windows 10 Home, or even get Office 2016 at an insanely cheap price, head on down to zero and nine. The links are in the description, and I even have a discount code to make these insanely cheap prices even cheaper. As you can see, you wonder why I'm wasting my time on YouTube when obviously I am an artist and for what it's worth it really works well with the pen you have the sensitivity there the pressure sensitivity so I can go light and then I can go thick and it works with minimal lag works very well so the pen is a killer feature for artists when it comes to 3d I will leave up the spec view benchmark you can run that against your laptop and see if it's any good. For what it's worth, it actually looked like it was running perfectly fine. The Vega graphics, some actual 3D apps do like Vega graphics, preferred to actually NVIDIA. It's because of the memory bandwidth. This has HBM memory, four gigabytes, so it's super fast memory. So for 3D applications, of course it's no workstation, but it will be a very handy, light, thin package that will be great for 3D. And of course you can use the pen as well with 3D. So let's get on to video editing. This is the project I use to test every system I will turn on this to full and I will also turn on drop frame indicator which will be, here we go, show drop frames. That's that little green marker here. When that is yellow, we're dropping frames. Now not always when it drops frames is it not running in real time because sometimes it will just drop one or two and then it will continue at real time. So it'll show you how many frames per second I'm doing here. It's a 24 frame project and we're at full now. I will turn that volume down a little bit. And you'll see this is 4K with high resolution photos, color correction applied here. I'll show you the color correction there. I will just take it off. No color correction. You can see the color correction, 4K footage here. This is not uncompressed or anything like that. So this is full raw 4K footage and it scrubs through very nicely. Have a look at that. Like butter at full. As you can see it's at full. Let's see if it plays through this. High resolution photos, 36 megapixel, 4K footage, color corrected. And as you'll see, it's playing through like a champ. Now it wasn't that long ago that laptops couldn't do this. I can tell you right now, at full. That's amazing really got great performance actually if it just plays through this i'm just going to have to move on to 8k to be honest let's see how it goes through the color corrected 4k there you go drop some frames at the color corrected 4k okay let's see if that is typical all right so it seems to be dropping frames there on the 4k but we'll have a look how many frames it's dropping so no it's playing through it now at 25 and it's started to drop now it's sitting at about 23 24 22 frames it's dropping a frame here and there um it's very editable like this so i won't move on to 8k because you know it's not playing this footage right at full but see there 25 solid and we'll see if it starts dropping frames yeah it starts dropping frames in the end but it's still very smooth you can see up here it's still doing a solid 25 frames it's just dropping an odd frame here and there oh big drop there did i do that yeah i must have done that sorry <laughs> um Yeah, okay, stop again. Playing back at full, color correction, 4K content. 
it'll drop frames every now and then but it's not dropping many frames it's just an odd frame here or there so i guess that shows you the power difference between this and the say the xps 15 9570 and the 9560 in premiere they will play this at full so there is a little bit of a difference there even though i would say generally this laptop here, the 9575, is pretty much the same amount of power as the 9560 in terms of gaming benchmarks, in terms of rendering times. It's very close, like almost identical actually, within the margins of error. But certainly in Premiere, it doesn't perform quite as good as the 9560 or the 9570. So it just, you know, starts to drop a frame or two here. It's still very editable at full. It's smooth scrubbing but it's not quite there in terms of being able to play it at full. I expect at half, it will have no problem. So let's do that. So this is at half now. We'll see if it has any problems at half. Nice and green there. We'll see if it drops some frames at the end. I still would be able to edit this at full. I mean, a couple of frames here or there. It's not the end of the world. It's just when it starts to run like molasses and really slow down. But you can see at half, it has no problems playing through this 4K content that is color corrected. So it's very good for video editing, drop frames at the end. But um, I'd say at half, I could even edit it full, but for best performance, pull it half. The render times are really good. I will show the render times now. You'll be blown away with the render times, but certainly in the timeline, it's not quite as powerful as the 9560, 9570. So that's one thing to bear in mind, but certainly in terms of gaming and rendering, it's every bit as fast as the 9560. Okay, so let's see how it performs for photography function. I've showed you a bit of Photoshop. Of course, you do have the Killer Pen Active Pen 4096 pressure sensitivity points. It'll be great for editing photos, doing touch ups, and stuff like that. The 4K display obviously makes it great for editing photos, 100% Adobe RGB, very color accurate, one of the best displays you're going to get. So let's import. This is um, from a D800 camera. So we're talking about a gigabyte folder here. So it's a gigabyte worth of files. 40 megabyte raw photos, there's raw and JPEG. So let's just import these and see how we go. See how quick it imports and renders those previews. I expect it to be very fast, of course. What? That quick? I'm joking. Okay. <laughs> oh, there you can see. Wow, that is super quick. All right, was not expecting that. And as you can see, the previews are there. They're rendered already. Amazing, super quick. As you can see, going into those previews, very quick. Very nice and smooth and quick there. Let's see if we can develop one of these, see what we get here. It didn't import the JPEGs, okay. So these are all NEFs. For some reason, I haven't imported the JPEGs. Whatever. Um, let's see how it performs in the develop module. So I can increase a bit of blacks here, bring out the black in that keyboard, reduce the shadows, bring out all oh, that nice and black there. We'll see about the highlights. There's the shadows. There's the highlights. Have we got any highlights? We'll just increase the whites there. Yes, okay. So we'll just do that until the screen. That can be a little bit blown because it's supposed to be blown. <coughs> Excuse me. And as you can see there, the adjustments are happening in real time, super fast. This is going to be great for photography plenty of power there so let's now use an adjustment brush and see how well this pen works with it oh that adjustment brush is too big obviously and as you can see instant adjustment there so you can see here works very well if i just want to make that keyboard a little bit lighter you can see instant and so precise with the brush there, works really well, fantastic. 
I uh, just want to bring out the blacks a bit more in there. Works very well. So you can use the pen in Lightroom. It is very good for content creation in this laptop. You have no problems with it. It was great for all content creation. Not quite as fast as the 9570 and the 9560 in the timeline in Premiere Pro, but other than that, it's pretty much the same speed as the 9560. So plenty of power here, considering how thin it is. You get the pen, it's great for artists, this device. Content creators will love it. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and until next time guys, tally ho.